Hey everyone, it's Jason, and this is your weekday cruise news. And after 900 days of construction, we hit a huge milestone for the icon of the seas. So cruise story number one, and now we have Pajama Gate. So someone wrote in to John Heald, the brand ambassador for Carnival Cruise Lines, and they mentioned that over 150 people were planning to wear pajamas to the main dining room for breakfast on this holiday. Now, they were disgusted by this, and John Hill was actually at a loss for words, which is not something you often see. He really didn't have an answer. So he did a poll, and the poll said basically, you know, we don't care. Now, here's the issue. Who's going to be enforcing what pajamas you can wear and what pajamas you can't wear? Because pajamas is a very loose term. I mean, are they going to allow the pajamas from Victoria's Secret in the main dining room? Because that could go a little, little weird, right? Or what is it going to be allowed and not allowed? I just think it's an interesting thing. And I think it shows not only that basically no one really cares, which is weird to me. But do you really want to be sitting? Because usually, you know, in the main dining room for breakfast, they're going to sit people all together. I don't want to be sitting next to someone in their pajamas. I mean, if that's really what you wanted to do, you need to go rent a house or do something private, in my opinion, maybe Gatlinburg, sit by the fire and have your little pajamas and have your, you know, little bit of uh, maybe some hot chocolate in the morning. No one wants to see you in pajamas. Seriously. And I think what people are like, hey, I don't mind it for this one time. But when does it become, well, you allowed it for this one. I'm having an anniversary or we're having a party or we're having this situation or that situation. See, once you say yes to something like this, how do you say no? Oh, we only allow it this time. Well, why? I don't. What if people go, I don't celebrate that, but I celebrate this. It's a slippery slope. I think it's ridiculous. I don't want to see you in your pajamas in the main dining room. I don't want to see you in your pajamas in the buffet. That's why you get room service. So you can sit in your pajamas and sit out on the balcony, put your feet up and enjoy the ocean go by and stay in your pajamas there. No one wants to see it. Just like they don't want to see you in a bathing suit and, you know, you're all hanging out, whether guy or girl, walking through the buffet. Put a shirt on, put a cover up on. No one wants to see that. That's just my thoughts. What do you guys think? Pajamas or no pajamas? That is the question. So cruise story number two and transitioning into something much more serious and very sad is a 16-year-old young man died as he fell off a balcony on the allure of the seas. There isn't a lot of information out there. I honestly don't expect a lot of information to come out on it, and I really hope there isn't. Uh, just an overall sad situation. Royal Caribbean did confirm that one of their passengers did pass away, and that is the extent that they went. So our thoughts are with the family during this time. So before I get to number three, I would ask that you please like this video as it does help the channel grow. Also, consider subscribing as I do daily cruise news shorts and tips and tricks. I also do longer cruise videos on Saturdays, Sundays, and now Wednesdays at 8 a.m. Thanks so much. So cruise story number three, and this is some exciting news, is the icon of the seas has been delivered to Royal Caribbean. It's now a part of their fleet, and it's now officially the largest cruise ship in the world. What's interesting is this is about 60 days in advance from her maiden voyage on January 27th, 2024. Now, obviously, there's going to be some work to be done, uh, you know, training their crew members. This is a completely new ship. So any of their staff, crew members, uh, dancers, any of the shows, they have to get used to this cruise ship. So that's what a lot of this training I'm sure is going to be done before it comes over to Miami. I just checked right now, it's still in Finland as we speak. But what might be interesting is, just like the Celebrity Ascent, it was delivered early, and they put on a few 
like three and four day press cruises or preview cruises. And so we may see that on the icon of the seas. Now, Royal Caribbean, if you are watching, I am volunteering. I will absolutely come down from Orlando with my wife. We'll do a walkthrough video and give our first impressions. So just a volunteering there, shameless plug. So anyway, we are though looking forward to cruising on the Icon of the Seas later on next year. Can't wait to see it. And I know this is probably a very polarizing ship. I know people are like, wait, it's too, too many families, too big of a ship. And to me, I like it. I love the big Royal Caribbean ships and I like the small ships. I think variety is the spice of the life. So that's just what I think. What do you guys think of the Icon of the Seas? Excited or eh, it's a no, no big deal, just move on. So can't wait to hear from you guys in the comments. I appreciate you guys watching. I do appreciate the support. It's been so amazing, so thank you so much. And until I talk to you next week, happy cruising.